few weeks passed since my last video and I was very busy uploading a lot of new pictures to my website. If you haven't already seen them, click on the link below in the description and I hope you like them. I will go on a little photo trip for the next days and today I will show you what I will take with me. First of all, most important, my backpack. This is a everyday backpack by Peak Design. It's the big 30 Lille version and it offers enough space for everything I will take with me for this next days. On the outside we also have my Manfrotto B3 tripod. It's uh, the non-carbon version but it's, it's still very light and very handy. Doesn't take much space, doesn't have much weight and it's really cool. I like it very much and I take it to all my trips. Also here on the strap there is the Capture Pro clip also by Peak Design. This is very useful. This is a little plate you can just put on the bottom of your camera and then your camera clips in here and you can carry it around. Very nice, very handy and I use this for my only digital camera, the Nikon D5300, which I use to film this video and also the video of my next trip. Inside the bag there is everything I will need. First of all and most important for every analog photographer, film. I will take with me Kodak Actor 100 film and Kodak T-Max 400 for black and white pictures. The Actor 100 is a really great color film with very rich colors and it is also great for scanning if you have developed it. The T-Max 400 is a very high contrast uh, grainy film. I love it very much and I'm looking forward to shooting this. And there are also free rolls of a film I have never used before. This will be the first time ever I will shoot positive film. Fuji Velvia. I'm really excited about this. These free rolls are very expensive but I'm sure the results will be worth every cent. Yeah, beside my films, 13 rolls, there are just two lenses I will take with me. First of all, to get the landscape and the atmosphere of the whole place, my 24mm Nikon lens. It's the 1.8 version and the second lens is the 85mm lens, also from Nikon, also 1.8. I just will take two lenses with me because I want to travel light, I want to travel fast and yeah, this should be definitely enough to fit all situations. Also, very important, my size cleaning kit. This is really cool, it's a small pocket, costs just 20 euros. It contains everything you need to clean your lenses and your camera. Airball, tiny brush and a lot of cleaning wipes. Also with me comes my Lee filter set. At the moment I just have a few filters from Lee, but they are awesome. The quality is just insane. The bag is, is really cool because it's very compact. It contains all filters and the filter holder. I have two rings for the two different lenses I bring with me. And I'm very excited to shooting for the first time with my Lee Big Stopper. This is a 10 stop ND filter. So shooting long time exposures would be much more interesting with this, especially in the daylight. Most important, the camera itself. Um, I was thinking for a long time which camera I will take with me. And I was this close to just take one camera, the Leica Mini Lux with me. Only this, only 40 millimeter lens, that's it. But there's one problem with this great camera. 
um, I can't put my leaf filters on it and I definitely are going to take long time exposures on this trip. So there is a need for filters and for this purpose I will take with me my Nikon F5. With the F5 and the two lenses I will take with me I have everything I will need to capture the pictures I'm thinking about at the moment. The additional stuff I will take with me are of course remote control for the camera I will need it for the long time exposure spare battery for the video camera spare batteries for the Nikon F5 for the analog camera also very useful and I would recommend to always take something like this with you a small knife you have a lot of tools on it you have a sharp um, blade on it and you can need it in a lot of situations very useful my anchor battery pack this little thing charges my iPhone my Apple watch my Kindle e-reader for 8 to 10 times it's very light and it saves a lot of space because I don't need the additional cables and charging stuff for the things I really hope you enjoyed this video these are the things I will work with for the next three days and if you're looking forward to see where my trip will go Tune in for the next video. Bye.